All right, guys, we got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, the 1950 Tahoe. And what we've done is some serious upgrades. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and enjoy. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share with your friends, and learn how you can turn a deck boat into a bass boat. How to have fun outdoors! Signed the paperwork and uh, mission accomplished. All right, so <laughs> let's see what happens. Uh, we're supposed to come back in about a week to pick this up, it'll be all prepped. <laughs> Gypsy, we bought a little bed, and she's like the Houdini of dogs. And she's just a baby, and she doesn't like her bed, but she does like just sitting on top of everything else, which is kind of funny. So, just remarkable, huh? We have the best dog ever. <laughs> huh? We've got a great video for you this week on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, major upgrades for the two 2021 Tahoe 1950 deck boat. You're not going to believe what we did with this deck boat. Aliche wanted 10 inches. That's right. She wanted 10 inches on this deck boat and I delivered. We got an incredible depth finder. We're going to show you that. We got another depth finder for the front of the boat. We got all kinds of upgrades, more batteries, bigger charger, you name it, and I'm ready and we're ready to take on all those fancy bass boats, and we think we've uh, got them beat. So give us your comments below. Did we just not turn the deck boat into the ultimate fishing machine? And uh, obviously with this boat, you can use it for skiing and all kinds of tubing and fishing and you name it. So here you go. Enjoy the video and check out all the major upgrades for this brand new deck boat. We've got another great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right. We're here with the Tahoe 1950 and today we're going to be doing the upgrade video and you're going to see all the toys we added to this boat. Are you ready, Aliche? Absolutely, there are so many great stuff to share with you. All right, so we're going to show you all the things that we did to change this boat just within the first couple of weeks. But now we're feeling really good about what we got. We're ready to take on the ranger boats, <laughs> all the bass boats that are out there, you name it, because we've upgraded this deck boat with some heavy duty electronics, heavy duty batteries, and uh, I think we're gonna do pretty good out there with our Pro XS 150 Mercury. I see you're all decked out in that right now. Oh yes, nice. I am sponsoring the engine. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's check out what we did for add-ons. All right, so the first thing we wanted to do is update the dash and uh, get some heavy duty electronics in there. And for some of the other videos I've seen on the deck boats, they're definitely decked out with the Lowrance hook. And even though it is a nice starter depth finder and we did not have any problems with it, there's just not much to it. It doesn't have the built-in maps, doesn't have the salt water, doesn't have really anything we really wanted. And uh, we needed to upgrade. So we plan on taking this thing in the ocean we plan on taking it uh, out to compete against these bass guys and we needed maps for fresh water and salt water 
and we wanted a big screen for the for the day so this is a monster monster screen as you can see and this is the number one navionics in mapping and this is the echo map ultra 106 sv plus the transducer this is a 10 inch key assist touch screen charter plotter sonar combo this has got it all and we've had a lot of luck with our ice yep. fishing one right yeah so, it was fantastic yeah so we we've been actually using that on the boat uh that's what we caught the salmon with um but we're going to talk to you and show you this uh, depth finder it's awesome and then in addition uh in case we get into those uh saltwater conditions we definitely wanted the cobra marine the dsc fix mount vhf radio and they did a great job of mounting that also so first of all i'd like to say hats off to the people at the manchester bro uh, pro bass shops uh the tracker service group there uh that service these boats both the manager the mechanics all those guys were really great about working on this how to have fun outdoor video and getting us hooked up with these electronics they did a great job oh yes they yeah. give it they did a really great job and also in a very timely manner yeah so you know a lot of these places are backed up and uh, i know they're busy but uh, they were terrific and really knew what they were doing and we're going to show you later in the video how we were able to hook up all this electronics we upgraded the power side of this from the battery bank and we're going to show you that we're now at four batteries four yeah that is a lot believe me <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's uh let's keep moving on here in addition to the radio we've got the really nice shakespeare antenna and uh, as you can see there that is one cool antenna and then up front uh let's go up there real quick because we also bought believe it or not the seven inch that's right with the echo map uhd 73 cv plus transducer and uh we're pretty excited about that and what we did up here is uh rocky and gypsy are just hanging out but uh we were able to add that uh so when you're up there fishing go ahead aliche yeah jump up there like you're fishing in your bass boat now instead of uh, not being able to uh, see how deep you're at and uh all the cool features and benefits that we're used to having i will just look at that and we are good to go see where all the fish are right <laughs> yes <laughs> and hopefully i can see them eating my bait all right very good well i tell you we were really happy with the motor guide no reason to upgrade here this was the xi3 and uh, that worked fantastic yeah and i also became very good at riding it yeah so i can tell you what you just push that pedal down right here and you've got the remote and uh, it was super quiet super effective you see we got the transducer on there now with the garmin but a really nice setup and uh we should be good to go if you're wondering what that is we did some salmon fishing check out that video and uh, to slow down that engine, uh, we went with the uh, one of those to, to really slow it down. So Yeah, it's a very simple strategy, but it works perfect. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's dig into the details on these units. Okay, to start the video, we're going to show you some of the additions when you order the 1950 or any of the deck boats from tahoe you get two additional pole holders off the back which are really nice and we use those quite a bit for trolling you've got the nice pole holder on the side here which is really great then in addition you come uh, up here off the dash and you have the standard five inch lorance hook and uh, that's your basic depth finder and then up here you get two bass seats you've got one of them assembled right now and uh, you're hanging out with rocky but they assemble how, how do they go together pretty good oh is it a three minutes job okay three minute job and uh but you get two of those and then uh the trolling motor comes with it it's a motor guide we're really happy uh with that uh no issues whatsoever and that's the xi3 um and that thing trolled magnificent i mean it was magnificent right yes. very smooth and easy to direct no need to upgrade that one and we'll talk about that a little bit later but then you have the live well also and this was a big surprise i mean lots of room in there 
fully automated. Uh, you just push the button, it fills up with the water. You got the plug. It's a really nice system, and that worked well. The fish, uh, no problems yeah, no whatsoever. Problem whatsoever. Yeah. yeah, they love it. Yeah, <laughs> so it was great, and uh, that's a really nice live well. It's kind of hidden too. And then some little bitty features on here. Part of the fish package is, uh, you know, they even throw in a couple little tackle boxes with the net. So really sharp. But now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the upgrades. Because there was definitely some upgrades that we wanted. Are you ready? So here is uh, the, our little play toy. And there yeah. it is. There's your cover, nice screen, and uh, you've all seen how these work. It's really sweet. Nicely mounted, um, you can see here how they did it. And then you can just easily remove that when you want to uh, store your boat or if you're in a place where uh, there may be uh, some concern, somebody may take it. So uh, easily uh, taken off the, the mount and uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's a great unit. Yep, absolutely. I cannot wait to turn it on and play a little bit with it. All right. Yeah. So the transducer, as you can see here, is wired all the way up through. You've got the zip tie coming down all the way back down. And then on the bottom of the trolling motor is where the transducer sets for that. So it's pretty awesome overall. Great location, huh? Okay, so at the dashboard, we had a big decision to make and uh, we decided to go with another Garmin. But the big question was, not a five inch, not a seven inch, you wanted a 10 inch. Oh, definitely, let's go with the big one. A 10 inch is nice. Oh man, I tell you what, this, uh, she always wants the bigger one. So here you go, a lot more money, but uh, this thing is incredible. So same exact type of setup, same type of box, but much different on the inside. Believe it or not, this does salt water and it does uh, fresh water. So you can see here, 10 inch screen display, 10 Hertz, 1280 by 800. The resolution on this is incredible. Sunlight readable, one chart connectivity, data sync, software updates, smart notifications. Got the wide, uh, high wide chirp uh, traditional, you got the ultra high definition, and then the ultra high definition side view also. This is sonar ready for the uh, same thing we got on the ice fishing, but you gotta have that transducer for that. Uh, but it is built in for that um, capability. Then over here, you can see fully preloaded on the maps, that's right. Um, it's got all the blue chart, uh, G3 charts, offshore and coastal. That includes Alaska, Hawaii, Bahamas, the Great Lakes. And then you've got the fresh water, once again, with over 18,000 lakes. Auto guidance, uh, pretty cool. I love that. And up to one foot contours and depth range shading. Built in quick draw contours and uh, you name it, this thing does a little bit of in everything. You know, you can pull in the engine data, autopilot sensors, you name it. But I really love the touchscreen and Zaliche wanted the 10 inch. So we got her the 10 inch and uh, this thing looks pretty amazing. So the, the way they mounted this, really the only way you could get back here is they got a ram mount here. You can see they brought in the wiring from this side. Once again, great job by those guys in Manchester. All your plugs coming in. You got the quick disconnect here. Easy to take this off. Um, and then obviously the cover. But once again, really nice unit. Look at okay. that nice so, screen. And you can see here, this is going to be really nice as you go forward. You got a big screen here. It's going to light up. And uh, we'll try to get a shot of that for you. If you watch the salmon video, you'll see the same exact screen. Uh, but we had it on the floor most of the time with the ice fishing setup. 
But uh, we're all excited. We're going to have all of this and uh, should be a pretty sweet get up as we get out there on the water. We should be able to find all the fish, Aliche, right? Oh, yes. So we are coming. Next is the radio, and we're pretty excited about that. Breaker Breaker 19, this is Alice from Italy uh, calling. Um, so, what are the fishes? <laughs> there yeah, you go. Awesome. All right, you like your little radio? Yeah. All right, so hopefully, we never need it, but we've got it. <laughs> we went with the Cobra Marine radio, that's the official VHF. And then just a couple of quick additions we made here is this little gadget, not expensive at all, and just mounts to the side, and everybody was looking for the pliers and the needle nose, and uh, that really helped out a lot. The other simple one was this guy, and it just goes on with adhesives, but now you can put all your lures right on that as uh, you're fishing, and uh, just saves you some time if you're switching between lures and don't have to jump into that tackle box. Okay, so Aliche, pretty cool add-ons and upgrades for this Tahoe 1950 deck boat. And I think we're good to go right up against some of these big fishermen. We got the lead line pole holders, our freshwater pole holders. Uh, so we're looking like we're going to give them some competition. Don't you agree? I agree 100% and we are not done yet. We're not we done? Even more, yeah. What else yeah. do we got? Well, most of the boat, they have one battery, right? And we move into four batteries. That's right, folks. So as you know, you got to have the crank battery on the engine, 150, uh, that's right, Mercury Pro XS. And uh, and then what we did was is everyone recommended two batteries dedicated to the trolling motor. We went ahead and did that. We actually had a uh, dual charger for the trolling motor. And then we also had uh, this XPS, which actually worked really nice for the crank battery. Um, but in the end, when we added all these electronics, the, the key recommendation was to uh, actually go with four batteries. Yep, so two for, for the boat, yep. engine, and everything else, yep. and one, another two instead for the trolling motors. All right, so with that, we had to get an incredible onboard charger. So with that, the recommendation was, believe it or not, for a Minn Kota digital onboard charger, and this charges all four batteries. So it's pretty awesome, and we'll show you that now. All right, so the back of the 1950 is pretty slick the way they have this designed. And in here, you can see this pops out, and boom, there you go. Two crank batteries in the back, all set to go. This is how they did it. Pretty crazy, but all four are connected. These two are dedicated to the engine and onboard electronics. And um, I'll show you the other side. Okay, so here's the other side, and here's what we did in regards to that. You can see these are the two trolling batteries, and there's the Minn Kota, the four battery charger, and uh, this is the setup. So we should have plenty of power now for the boat, and we're looking forward to getting out on the water and trying out all these new electronics and upgrades, and uh, we'll see if we can catch some more fish. Are you ready, Aliche? I'm always ready to be on the water. All right, let's do it. 1949 Jeep. This is a beauty. This is one of the old willies. Okay, we're gonna get to test out your 10-incher up there and uh, take a look at that beast. 
We got the dogs, we got everybody. Are you ready? I am. Very exciting. The uh, weather is perfect. Let's get it going. All right, we're here at Sunapee, New Hampshire, and this is a beautiful place, folks. Unbelievable. You're going to love being out on this lake. inches on the deck boat right That's there right. this right thing there. is awesome <laughs> I will admit that so you made the call and you were right thank you Tommy D in this uh, view you we, we've got the clear view the classic sonar and the maps all on one pretty slick we can set up the same up front with the other Garmin this is pretty sweet Look at that folks, really sweet. Okay, one other cool gadget that we found, we're gonna try it out on the boat, is this right here. This is the Mammoth Mount with the claw grip. This is supposed to be designed for side-by-sides, boats, and everything else. So let's see how well it works, $30. And uh, you can see it's got the extra large suction cup. And uh, let's put this bad boy on and see what it can do. Hopefully I can get it mounted up on this dashboard. All right, so here you go. We've got the uh, expandable. This thing pops out like that. You throw your phone in and then it collapses on the phone itself. Really nice ball joint here. As you can see, you can tighten that up and then clearly you can bend it, move it, and then the extra large suction cup. So we're gonna try it out here on How to Have Fun Outdoors. outdoors. All right, some more gadgets for you. And yeah. uh, this thing looks pretty awesome. So as you guys see, we got the 10 inch, we got the five inch, we got the seven inch up there. And now to hold your phone, this thing actually works. I gotta give these guys a lot of credit. This is a really cool gadget. And uh, now you can just put your phone in there and you're good to go. So we should be rocking and rolling out here on Lake Sunapee. Oh yes, we are ready to go. One of the other simple key gadgets I got for the boat is the 35 watt high speed. And this uh, is pretty awesome. Three ports, USB, USB-C and another USB um, and five year warranty on this. But what's nice is you see you've got the dust cover plugs, which is nice for leaving it on the boat in the rain. You can rapid charge up to three devices at the same time. Um, it has the device recognition technology. It's a little more expensive than the typical adapter out there, but I think it's worth the quality and uh, it's got the Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, compatible with fast charging technology uh, with the Samsung, LG, HTC, Motorola phones, etc. So really nice on the boat if you got a bunch of people and you want to plug in multiple things. So it is a little expensive, but uh, you know, like we talked about, tough tested, good brands and nice adapter for the dash.
have it. Those are our upgrades after just one month, uh, actually in the first couple of weeks. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please, please subscribe and let me tell you, we really want your feedback. Give us some comments down below. What do you think? Did we do good? Are we as good as a bass boat? Or do you think the deck boat just doesn't still have what the bass boat has? So let us know. And uh, for now, we say goodbye from <laughs> How to Have Fun Outdoors. <laughs>